UTX the prophecy honestly ain't no stopping the real as hell as dude on Xbox Live you see most of your commentators that faded way overrated and did I forget to mention to y'all that it happened to be the greatest and that's the truth yeah it is it's the truth what's going on people if you don't know now you know it is your boy UTX the prophecy and all this Xbox ain't nobody was out as should really start getting used to seeing on PS4 Anyway, for those of you who don't know, I actually am getting a PS4. I haven't, um, I, I don't even think I made it publicly announced, I guess. I don't really know if you're supposed to do that. But I will definitely be getting a PS4. I'm trying to convince my wife to get the Xbox One so I can have options just to see the difference between the two. She wants the PS4 as well, but I'm trying to convince her to get the Xbox One. Personally, I don't want it, but it's nice to have a way to formulate your own opinion on stuff as opposed to listening to everybody else form their own opinion on things. Because what they might like, you might like, and what you might like, they might hate. So, that being said, I'm going to try to get both. On release day. Probably won't happen. But you never know. So this commentary right now. Um, as you see I'm actually getting back into really. Trying to do commentary. And um, this gameplay features. I'll be fist pump. Myself. A few other UTX members. Um, my man. Um, un. It's just. It's just not that old of a gameplay actually now that I think about it it's actually not that old but again you guys know my situation so I will be getting um, Gato soon enough within the next few weeks possibly um, I'm actually in the process of moving right now moving um, all my stuff out of my old apartment and into my new one so, like, my last month of rent is this month. So, happy for that. I'll be able to save a bunch of money on living expenses and stuff like that. But anyway, this has nothing to do with what this commentary is about. Um, sorry, I get sidetracked. This commentary uh, that I want to do right now is about... Again, I haven't been able to do these type of commentary so a lot of these might seem kind of old and I might bring up a lot of old things but just bear it with me so this commentary right now is about Battlefield 4 and in layman's terms is it the COD killer so this video will possibly be named Call of Duty killer um, with a question mark at it because I want to seriously sit back and, and Think about the game's ability to be able to stop Call of Duty. So my first point is, again, this is based off of what I believe. Um, personally, I don't think that Battlefield 4 is a Call of Duty killer. And when you say the word killer, because people use that a lot, are we talking about... We can't be talking about game sales because as far as first person goes and, and possibly even third person shooters, I don't think there will ever be anything that will outsell Call of Duty in that in that genre. Um, Cause you look at Grand Theft Auto and it did 800 million. Another genre can do that. Um, even though Grand Theft Auto is the first, I don't believe that it, it will be the last to outsell Call of Duty. But, I mean, it was, you know, it was five years in the making. If Call of Duty took five years off of just one game, it, it would make, like, well over a billion dollars the first day. But, um, and that's not, I'm not giving them an excuse or anything like that. I know it sounded like I was giving them, you know, excuse, but... My point is that Call of Duty has been on top for so long 
that people have been wanting to see it fail. So when it did 800 million, a lot of people didn't care the fact that it was Grand Theft Auto. A lot of people just cared the fact that there was no longer a king as far as Call of Duty being a king. But you have to realize that it's been the king of everything. And not just the king of first person, third person. It's been the king of everything for the last how many something years. So, basically I want to say that uh, I don't believe Battlefield 4 can do it. And, and the reason why... and, and it depends, like I said, it really depends on how much you use the word killer in the sense that Domination. will more people be playing it, will more people enjoy it, um, is it more realistic, does it have a different feel, you know, things like that, that's that's easy to make an, an excuse for or, or give them the win for because Battlefield definitely looks better than Call of Duty, but no more people won't play it more um, it definitely won't sell more um, so it really just like depends on your interpretation of the word killer now when you think of sales and to me sales don't necessarily mean a game is the best just because it sells that much it's really about how I feel and how I play and what I see other people play a lot of but when it comes down to it the only thing that will kill Call of Duty is Orbital v -Side Online. It, yeah, like the only thing that will kill Call of Duty is Call of Duty. Um, you know, the saying to beat the best, you have to be the best. You know, there was a trailer a long time ago for you basketball heads, a commercial. Michael Jordan was playing against a younger version of himself because there was no one in that league that could contend with his greatness so the only thing that I believe that will stop Call of Duty and end its shine is itself it has to self-destruct there has to be so much things implemented in the game that makes it so terrible that no one is going to want to buy it and because of that that will never happen because you always have people that will like the new things and you have people that will hate the new things one of my points being I've said this to my man Manson before in a party. What if Call of Duty, because I've, I actually see this happening, not now, but within the next few Call of Duties, that eventually you'll be able to go invisible. And I know when you think of that, it's like, no, that'll never happen, but they'll, they'll make it away somehow. You'll be able to stand still for a while, or a few seconds, and you'll be able to camouflage a little bit better, or... There's going to be something, because of its Call of Duty, and not just because it's Call of Duty, but because there's multiple games that implement that, and most of these games are going based off the future. And in the future, there probably will be stuff like that if there isn't already. We don't know. But I expect to see something like Battlefield doing it later on. Um, and, I, and I definitely expect Call of Duty to do it later on. The only thing that I repeat will stop Call of Duty is Call of Duty itself. There has to be so much bullshit in the game that's just virtually unplayable where they'll have to take it off the market and people will demand something to be done. If that is done, then Call of Duty would be the greatest shooter ever. If it was taken off the market for a few years, it will possibly be the best shooter ever just for the simple fact that they would have years to to do what they did so long ago and invent something that hasn't been seen in games ever you know the kill streaks was their was their baby so when they take years off because now they're just really just taking things from other games and trying to make it work as opposed to being able to make up their own things again. But this was real. This is your boy, UTS to Prophecy. I'll get at you. Hey.